Oh, hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Moonwalking Pig Man. Alright. Uh, I'm, I'm hungry again. So we are continuing to work on the villagers there. And I'm hungry again, so let's, uh... Oh, I got some raw chicken. Let's see what the raw chicken does. Oh... Okay, didn't get sick. Look, here's another bunny. This is the bunny that was just been hopping around the inside of the pyramid. I don't know where it spawned, but oh, course for oh, the fun one. Okay, so advancements, eleven out of thirty-five. Course fruit, teleported a little bit. Advancements, twelve out of thirty-five. Very nice. Uh, oh, I got oh, got turned around. Hi, Bowser. I have a Bowser. Ah, oh, clownfish. I've been looking forward to eating this one. I've never eaten a clownfish uh, in regular Minecraft. Um, on the Lords of Minecraft server, of course, the clownfish are uh, contraband drugs. And I've eaten them there. So let's see what happens. What? Nothing? I thought I would get nausea. Huh. Um, oops, advancements. 12, 13 out of 35. I did get it. Oh, steak. Good yummy steak. This will fill me up. Oh, very good. Still a lot of food to go here, and I actually have more food over here. Oh, the puffer fish will give me nausea. So you can eat, you can eat clownfish. That's weird. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's go back over here real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that sound. That's uh, one of the pooches deciding they want to try and uh, dig a little bit in the sofa. Hello, guys. These guys are still at it. Oh, look, carrots. And they are planting carrots all over the place. Just carrots. No, no potatoes. So I think the, I think one of them had some carrots in his pocket and or had some potatoes in his pocket and I think I got them all, I think. We'll see. There might be still a few stray potatoes here and there, but they are farming the carrots and all they are planting are carrots and they weren't, basically I got them to a point where they weren't planting anything because I think they're out of potatoes. So. That's good. Hang on a second. Okay, good. So th these guys will take care of themselves. Let's uh, let's go outside. I've been outside over here in in a while. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. And I do have to go back into the Nether and see if I can get those other villagers out of there. But I know that they that they've got all kinds of potatoes in them because they've been farming. So I'm going to put them in one of the other pens to keep them separated. And if I need to, I may have to go get additional brown coat villagers, but I think I think I'll have enough, I think. All right, let's go up. It's daylight. That's good. And let's see what we can do up here. Oh, yes. So, notice, oh, the TARDIS is still up there. Uh, down over here, I, can, I started building this down on kind of what seemed like ground level, but of course it's, uh, there's, there were hills all around, there was a mountain, I mean there were mountains that I, I took down in order to, uh, to take care of this, so, actually what should I do, I should do this, put some torches down there, and uh, so I want to like clean some of this up. and terraform this a little bit. I, I don't mind it sloping up, but I don't want this trench right around it. And I want to build a little bit of space here if I need to, in order to, uh, like this is fine. This is a neat little structure and it's on the flat around, but I want to be able to get down to it. Uh, I want it to be a, feel a little bit more organic and natural, so. 
Uh, this little lake over here is fine. It's a bit of a squid farm because uh, there's not a whole lot of water around here and oh goodness look at all the squiddies there's a few okay good of course i have a squid farm so it's not super helpful uh this is squared off here so i may want to round that a little bit but over here where it just i have this square ditch i want to get rid of that a little bit so not going to do this all on camera but wanted to take a look and see how much work it looked like it would take to make this look a little bit more natural and I'll give you a lot more sand I already got plenty of sand sandstone uh, and then I'm gonna have to worry about lighting up here because if I if I walk out in the middle of the night up to the doorway there this whole area gets just lousy with mobs. So we will want to do something about that. I don't know if I want to litter the whole area with torches, but it would be nice to come up with something. Uh, maybe, I don't know, put up street lamps or something. Who knows? Oops. Uh, one thing that I do want to consider is that over here, I think over in the corner, there's a oasis structure well, or I don't know what you, what it's called. Oh, I left some track there. Interesting. Yeah, over here, there's this, this little structure, which uh, I would like to preserve, but it's up on this. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to preserve this, but it's up on up on the hill. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I may have to relocate it. Should be relatively easy to build, right? I mean, these are just sandstone and sandstone slabs with uh, some water source blocks down below. I think having a little oasis would be nice for weary travelers coming across, riding across the desert. Boop, boop, there we go. So, so we're gonna do that. There's a lot of work to be done here. And of course I'm gonna have to repair my tools and get, uh, put all this sand and sandstone that I'm gonna get away. But, but it'll be nice. It'll be worth it. And if I want to, I can I can clear out some space to come up here and build some other stuff outside, which might be nice. Don't know what, but might have, might want to build something. So there we go. All right. So let's. I think all the torches out here are on a grid. Oops. Oh, that's fine. There we go. And certainly I'm going to want to concentrate on this side of the pyramid because that's where the entrance is. But all around, it'll be, it'll be nice to get it nice and flat all the way around, even though it's going to be a ton of work, but it'll be a nice sort of Zen like activity. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing out here. I've been spending a lot of time out here trying to get, trying to build more farms. It would be nice to get this whole area to be somewhat self-sufficient. Dropping sand down there. Uh, so I don't, you know, so when I want to make more food or get stuff, I don't have to run back home as often as I have been. Um, and I don't necessarily want to get a whole set of trading villagers out here, although that would be kind of nice to have a little villager trading hall, like a little Egyptian bazaar. I think that would be cool. Um, but a lot of work because I'm still upcycling the, the villagers, 
upgrading the villagers that I have back in my place. So unless I want to move all the existing ones. I don't know if I have enough space out here, but it would be Uh, but it would be cool if I did to build a uh, sphinx next to the pyramid here. Um, I don't know if there's enough room. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Let me go. I thought I had more sand down here. All right. So there's the. Oh, there's sand. Cool. And. Uh, sandstone. There we go. Oop, I have to get inside before it gets dark out here. You'll see what happens when it gets dark. It gets it gets nasty pretty quickly. I start to see mobs spawning all over the place. So I might, this grid of torches, I might expand it out. But anyway, that's that. What else did I want to show you? Um, hang on a second. Oh, I'm hungry again. Oh, let's have some cooked chicken. Yum, 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 yum. And I'm still hungry. So I've got some cooked fish. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, uh, filled me up. Okay, good. So now I am up to 16 of 35. Um, okay, almost halfway there. We're working on it. Yeah. Why do I have that there? I don't know. Let's put this away. And let's go take a little walk. So the the my little former uh, potato villagers are, are seem to be doing okay. They're just planting uh they're just planting carrots. So I think we're we're doing alright. They're slowly expanding it and and only seem to be planting carrots. So I'm very happy about that. Now it's possible, because they plant from their first inventory slot over, it's possible that they have carrots and then they also have some potatoes buried in there somewhere. But um, they're planting the carrots first and as long as they keep harvesting more carrots than they're planting, that should be just fine, I think. So. So good, we seem to have cleansed these guys of all of their potatoes. Very fine. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Hey bunnies. Oh, hey guys. You're still standing in here and you have a uh, zombie pig man as a, as a friend. That should make you want to move, I would think. I mean, he's not going to attack you, but... So weird that I can't get these guys to go in while I'm recording. Huh. Okay. Huh. Okay, well. We'll leave you guys alone for the time being. I'll be back. So over here at uh, VexFX Place, I'm getting hungry again. Uh, he's got his farms that he's built out, which produce plenty of stuff for the server. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, in order to try and get the villagers that he wants, he has a little, uh, he has a pair of villagers here. And he just does this. He throws bread at them. And throws bread at them. And then hopefully they get all in the mood. And they produce little babies. And if the babies happen to be a little brown coat, then he grabs and he pushes them over in here and then carts them off. Hey guys, <coughs> come on. It is, after all, 
the love shack. Huh. Why don't you go outside? It's a nice day outside. Come on, dude. Ow. Oh, that that's painful. Come on. Can't get him out of this corner. Oh, villagers. Have a mind of their own. This is Breeder B. I think this is Breeder A. Oh, I can't see his name tag. Ugh. Hi. And of course, there's iron golems all over the place. Oh, hello. Do you guys like some bread? It's yummy bread. Oh, you're not named. Okay, don't mind me. I'm not staring at you. Ugh. That's all the bread I got. I only had one stack. Oh, of course you run back inside. Oh, very frustrating. Okay. I'll have to talk to Vax and see if he's got secret uh, secret process. Let me put you back in your little area here. Uh -huh. Okay. See, he's got a minecart all set up here, and this track goes over to the cove where he has plenty of villagers. He's got a breeder over here. And let's eat. I'm getting hungry. Let's see what's next on our cooking with Minecraft. Oh, cooked mutton. Oh, this is going to be nice and filling. Yum. Oh, but I'm still a little bit hungry. I've got to cook, cook pork chop next. Ah, yes. Very happy. Very satisfied. Very good. Okay. We're, we're working our way through. Pop. We're working our way through the food. We've eaten 18 out of the 35. Uh, just over halfway there. So in the cove area here, as I was saying, there's a villager breeder, but because he's got them farming, oops, oh, those vines, because um, he's got them farming to sort of make everyone willing, and he's using potatoes. Everyone's filled up on potatoes, it looks like. No one's actually farming. So all these guys are contaminated. These two golems. Oops. Uh, there's three golems in here. Just can't see all three of them. Unless there's one, two, there's got to be one inside. Very odd. Hi. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, so all these guys, all the farmers in here are all contaminated with the uh, potatoes. So I can't pull from there. So we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, nothing really new over here at the cove, I don't think. Meow. Let's check and see how... The melons are doing and craft up some melons Boop. yep there we go and see how the pumpkins are doing oh farms are doing pretty good they've got a, a barb and, and vex have built i think i've shot it pretty gargantuan melon and and pumpkin farm down there rah, 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 rah. Uh, so that's that. Oh, there's a bunny in the boat over here. Future site boat rentals. I'm supposed to be building a boat rental shop here. Yeah, I need to do that. Oh. I, I don't have a whole lot else planned right now. I've been spending all my time sort of working on the, the, the inside of the pyramid. But uh, we should go check a few things. Let's go see how the iron farm is doing. Come on. There we go. Barb's squid farm. She's 
decorated it up a little bit, which is kind of cool. Works pretty decent when there's nobody else on. So here's the iron farm. There we go. And... Oh, there's a little bit here. Server's been a little bit quiet lately. So it's not been super productive. Iron farm lately, but... It's doing okay. I grabbed a little bit of iron a few days ago. Uh, I, ha I did notice that over here, because we've got uh, plains biome over here with lots of grass, that there were passive mobs were building up here, something fierce. So I went in on our little rampage and killed a bunch of them. Um, and they haven't really spawned back too much, which is fine. There's a pig and a, and a horse over here. So, that's... Oh, wow, there's a few more. Hi, Mr. Pig. Sheep, a couple horse. Cow, a few horses. Wow. Okay, so that's cool. Um, yeah. So let's... Uh, let's go see what's happening in the community area. Oh, Barb fixed the crash base sign. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Crash base. Uh, I don't know if I've shown... There were some improvements on the inside. Uh, let's see here. A little free library. That's not new. Uh, water cooler. This is, this is where the water cooler is. And this is Sparkles. Sparkles is our mascot. Sparkles normally lives in Crash Base. Sparkle lives on shelves in front of the, the, the windows here. But Sparkles is pretty small. Um, what? Uh, oh, and this. This is super cool. She used the custom map uh, area to make wood paneling, which matches the wood paneling inside the space. And then we have this mannequin uh, I think that's what that's supposed to be. And then if we come in here, updated the, uh, this is like four maps each. Uh, so this is the chemical cabinet. So that's like eight total, which is pretty crazy. It's really cool. And that's pretty much what it looks like. And then over here, laser cutter, we have ventilation piping going up to the roof. I think that's what that's supposed to be. And these are our Radio Shack cabinets. We actually, Radio Shack, of course, is closing down. And so we we managed to get four of their little uh, parts bins cabinets. And this is, and they're like drawers and they're labeled like this. Um, that's the way we have them labeled. So that's pretty cool. And then over here, oh, huh, what's going on here? Okay. And then the shed um yeah so we got the shed this is what we call the bike shed and uh we call it bike shed because there's a an old uh, hacker space document there's uh, this document that somebody uh people with hacker spaces put together and they they, they have sort of they documented behavior patterns that they saw people having at hacker spaces. And so they, they documented one and the, they have one thing that they call bike shed, which is taken from another, uh, another source, uh, old internet email meme thing, uh, that has the, the subject line of the email is what color is your bike shed? And it basically documents how people can, get obsessed with small details and allow that to destroy uh, progress on a topic for the group. And so people, a group of people decide, hey, let's build a shed to store our bikes. And, and instead of doing the important things like where should it go? How big should it be? Uh, People get bogged down into little details, such as what color should we paint it? And that's not productive. So, 
if we get into uh if somebody notices that we're having a discussion about how to do something oh look at the cabinets with the little dandles uh if we're trying to we get bogged down into some un, unimportant detail or not necessarily important detail uh then we basically somebody gets to call bike shed and we have to stop talking about uh, that thing are these item frames yes they are okay she did maps that are white because the inside of the, the room is painted white uh, this is pretty cool this is one of the more effective uses of maps I think I've seen um, so we have our cabinets and yeah that's pretty cool oh th these are the speakers uh, that's pretty cool anyway so I think that's it I don't think there's any there's much else new going on um, let's check and see if anyone's donated anything to the the books I need to stock this up a little bit not that people are taking books but you know it's nice to have a supply of them and okay very good make sure there's no no mail at the at the mailbox in the post office see if anyone's bought anything from the the potion shop Oh, uh, there's a couple. I think regen potions would be popular. Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Well, I think that's it. Um, not a whole lot else going on. Uh, I need to go and see if I can get those villagers through the portal. I have a feeling that the moment I stop recording and walk over nearby, they're just going to pop through. Oh, that's right, the cove. In my little fishing hole. Oh! Hello! That was exciting. Ooh! And of course, there's a flower in here. Uh, courtesy of XFX. No doubt. Ooh! Of course, that wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world if he had blown up some of this, but, you know, that was... Oh, my heart's still pumping. Goodness gracious. Well, on that note... Ugh! Oh, these these are huge. We need to put stairs in here. Well, on that note, I will leave you to it. What is going on up there? Oh. <laughs> there are mobs just spawning. They wouldn't be spawning there, would they? Or did they fall there? That block needs to be either removed or lit. Okay. All right. Well, we will leave it there. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.